Hey guys, what's up? This is 8-Bit Eric and today we're going to take a look at some of the best NES video game cover art of all times. Yes, all times. Not just one time. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this son of a bitch. When I think of NES game cover art, it has to just strike me. When you look at it, it's got to be like, oh my god, this game is going to be a complete adventure. And when I look at Castlevania, that is like, boom, you got everything you need on there. You got Dracula, you got a castle that looks scary, you got, you know, Creatures of the Night, you got Simon Belmont cracking his whip, and you're like, holy shit, I need this game. And when, you know, 8-Bit Eric, when he was just a tiny little 2-Bit, he saw that video game cover art, and to this day, I still get goosebumps just thinking about it. Castlevania had some of the best cover arts in the whole entire NES library, including Castlevania 2 and 3. I mean, the Castlevania series cover art are just amazing. They're fantastic, and yeah, I mean, all Konami cover art, actually, now that I think about it, but Castlevania just has that kick-ass freaking look about it that you knew that was going to be a badass game, and it didn't mislead you at all. It was, you know, a fantastic, legendary series. Now, next up, you guys are probably going to laugh a little bit, but the fact that Fabio is on the cover of Wizards and Warriors 2 is pretty funny. I mean, it's a realistic drawing of Fabio. you got to give credit to that. I mean, cover art that looks this good, you know, while it's misleading, this is pretty badass. I mean, take a look at his muscles, his fabulous hair, his physique. This made you want to play the game. Now, Fabio at the time was probably one of the biggest celebrities, so I don't know if they were intended for kids to want to buy this or old milfs that, you know, were just feeling kind of lonely and they wanted to insert a cartridge, if you know what I mean, inside of their slot. Either way, Wizards and Warrior has that cover art that's just very memorable, that just sticks in the minds of many people, and I just had to put it on this list. Now, the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy has some of the coolest cover arts of all time. I mean, who does not like ninjas slicing and dicing in front of lightning bolts and fire and all sorts of awesomeness that, you know, just growing up in the early 90s, kids loved it. Nothing more than to want to just be a ninja chopping off the heads of people. And my opinion, Ninja Gaiden, the first one on the NES, had that, you know, epic cover art that just made you excited whenever you saw your friend pulled out or whenever you rented it. Whenever you hold that game pack, it's like, yes, Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> what can I say about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game? Just looking at the cover art is like candy. I mean, growing up, Ninja Turtles was where it's at. You cannot not enjoy this cover. I mean, the Ninja Turtles in their prime, the arcade game was fantastic. The NES game, not so much, but just looking at it as a kid, it says, let's party. Put me in, let's play, let's get some pizza, keep your PJs on. It's a Saturday morning, and we're going to play this thing from beginning to end. And it still says that to me when I look at that cover art. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game on NES, mwah. And finally for today, Contra, another one of those games where you just look at it and you're like, man, Konami just keeps on keeping on with these cover arts. You got an Arnold and Stallone look-alike with big muscles, big guns, and you got a creepy alien in the back. You knew this game was going to be exactly what you needed. Running in jungles, running in caves, shooting the shit out of guys and enemies and aliens and all sorts of creatures with a gun. The arcade game was fantastic. The NES game lives up to the classic arcade game, and the cover art just helped it that much more. I mean, countless video game reviewers use the Contra cover art as their DVDs, for example. AVGN, The Game Chasers, lots of people parody the cover art to Contra because hell, it kicks fucking ass. And well guys, that is it. That was just a handful of some of my favorite NES cover art. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned, I have a lot more coming your way. Peace out.